Welcome back to the channel and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how we can cut objects in Blender using other objects. So here for example I have a UV sphere and this UV sphere is cutting a chunk out of this cube here. As you can see I can turn it off and then over here I have a cylinder which I can move and adjust and I can hide that and you can see it's cutting these shapes in here. Not only can we do cuts we can also do unions we can do intersections like this, and it's a whole ton of fun. I'm even going to show you how we can add multiple materials to the cut areas like so, so they share the same materials as the cutter objects. So this is a beginner-friendly introduction to people who've never used Boolean operations in Blender, just to teach you the very basics so you can start using them in your Blender workflow. So let's jump in and have some fun. So jumping into Blender, we'll be using the default cube as our testing object. So let's say for example, we wanted to cut a circular or spherical shape out of this cube here, a chunk. So in that case, let's go Shift A and under our mesh options, we'll add in a UV sphere. So let's take this UV sphere in our front view, we'll go and move it up. So I'm just gonna press G to move it and I'm gonna move it here to the corner. And in the top view, I'll move it here like so. So now I have this sphere in place. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and give that a subdivision surface. Just so it's a little bit smoother. And this is going to be the object that I'm going to cut with. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the cube over here. And this is the object we want to be cut. And we're going to go over to our modifiers. We're going to go add modifier search and type in Boolean. So B double O L and then E A N. So Boolean. And then you're going to come here to the object and there's a little eyedropper. So if you click on this eyedropper, you can go and click on whichever object you want to make the cut. So I'm going to click on the sphere. And if you can't see it, all you have to do is just select the sphere and you can press H to hide it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as you can see. And now we can see it is cut away like this. And the cool thing is if we select the cube is we can come here and turn that off and turn it on again which is really cool. So some of the main things we want to look at here when you look at the Boolean modifier is at the top here, we have intersect, union, and difference. By default, it's set to different. So that's going to do a cut. If we were to do a union, it's pretty much what the name says. It'll join these two together as one mesh, as you can see here, right? If we go here and make it intersect, then it takes the actual chunk. It's the negative or the inverse of it, as you can see here. So let's say you wanted to do more objects. What you can do is you can come here to drop down and duplicate this Boolean, and you can always go ahead and add, add in another object. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a cylinder, and I'm gonna take the cylinder, I'm gonna move it here to the side, and I'm gonna scale it and move it up. So what I can do is I can click on a cube, I can go to the eyedropper, this time I'll get rid of the sphere, I'll click on the eyedropper and click on the cylinder. And now I'm just gonna click on the cylinder here, and I'm gonna press H to hide it. And now you can see I've made that cut as well. So if I were to select this cube and right click, I can go shade auto smooth, but you'll see it's not really smoothing where the cuts are. And that is because if we go over here and just bring back the hidden objects, we need to grab them as well and give them shading. So I'm gonna select the cylinder, right click and go shade auto smooth. Then I'm gonna click on the sphere and right click and go shade smooth. Now, if I come over here, I can hide them both. And now I can see that's looking nice and smooth. So what if you wanted to work with materials? So this is really interesting. If we actually select a cube, we can go to material properties and by default, the cube has a material. Let's just call this A. And let's come over here down to the bottom to our viewport display. Let's make this kind of like a bright color. You can make it whatever you want. And let's say, for example, we took this sphere here and we gave this sphere a material and let's call this B. And we're gonna leave it white. Right, so I'm going to quickly go ahead and hide the sphere up here. How do I get that material to be in this place? So what I can do is I can select the object that's getting cut and go over to the materials tab and click on plus and then come here to the drop down and select that material that we created B. And now it's using that as well. And that's how you can do that. So if we were to come and bring back the cylinder, let's give the cylinder a new material. Let's call that C and let's just come down to the viewport display and make that yellow and let's hide the cylinder. Let's select our cube. Let's go to the materials and click on plus, come to the drop down and give it that C. And now we can see it has that color. So this is the very fundamental beginner friendly basics of Boolean operations in Blender. 
If you wanted to this to be permanent, you could just come here to the drop down and you can come and apply these Boolean modifiers. But that's all I have for you today when it comes to the basics of the Boolean operations in Blender. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.